Hello, I'm Dan Abinan. Welcome to Municipal Election Talk Show. On Saturday, October 15, 2022, BC local residents um, vote to elect their mayor and councillors and school trustee for the next four years. Today, uh, we at Trench Media are honored to have Burnaby Mayor Mike Harley. Mike, welcome to our program. Thank you very much for having me here today. Thank you. My pleasure. That, uh, Mike, could you please uh, just um, let us know what's the um, uh, main problems that we have or major um, problems that we have in uh, Burnaby City or what's the challenges? Well, the, the biggest and number one challenge is housing and uh, rental housing particularly and, and affordable rental housing. And uh, we have made some great moves over the last four years. And we're looking forward to implementing those moves as we move forward in the next four years. I think we're pretty well established now as a leader in Canada when it comes to uh, rental housing and affordable housing. And uh, well, many municipalities are copying the things we have done. So, and, and I see the provincial governments even starting to copy some of the things we have done. So, so I think we're, we're doing some things right. Great. Uh, as a mayor of Burnaby uh, since 2018, um, you have been an important part of the community um, to seeking uh, the affordable housing and uh, the, the COVID pandemic also, um, uh, also dealing with the COVID uh, uh, pandemic. And uh, so uh, thank you for being here. Um, just uh, the other question is, um, as you know, that more than uh, 80,000 uh, people of the a burn number are between 20 to 40 years. Is there any uh, plan to promote um, the nightlife and uh, also in engaging people for um, entertainment and uh, also in the city? Is there any plan or roadmap for that? Yes. Um, well, we, as you know, we have four town centers, which are the main centers of our city, which is focused around our transit sites. And certainly we're working really hard to, to have some uh, nightlife uh, return to those, especially the metro town area uh, where we have really big plans for along the Skytrain corridor, which is uh, Central Boulevard and the Burrisford area. So we hope to turn much of that into nightlife for young people. Uh, you know, the demographic in our city can stay in our city and enjoy nightlife in our city. And certainly that's that's in the plans. Great. Uh, you know that based on the UN uh, reports, more than 206 cities uh, have the uh, plan for a smart city. Um, what's the roadmap or plan for Burnaby uh, to transforming to the smart city? Well, we have a very definite roadmap of, you know, we're engaging with consultants uh, to ensure that we're making the best practices within our city. And that's for moving traffic through our city in the smartest possible way. Um, but but also the environment and how we're going to deal with the environmental issues, which is really tied to transit as well. And uh, if you've been by City Hall lately, you've seen we have just uh, opened up uh, new facilities for electric vehicles where, uh, because we're going to move our fleet in that direction towards electric vehicles and low carbon fleet. So, uh, you know, we definitely have plans to move towards that smart city a process, but others have started down the road. But uh, we're working really with some consultants to ensure we're getting it right, because we know the city is going to look a lot different 20 to 30 years than it is today. And how we move traffic through our city is going to be much different than it is today. And do we have any uh, data dashboards in city? I mean, that's, uh, you know, that the big data in, in the city. So is there any decision making system, software system in the Burnaby city or? No? We, are, we are working to implement that system right now. And uh, so hopefully in the next, within the next year, we will have that system up and running so that we're, you know, really at the top, at the leading edge of smart city technologies. Great. And recently you just announced for um, innovation lab, I think it's the civic innovation lab. Um, with SFU, yeah? yeah. So, um, what's the output of this um, innovation lab, and uh, what's what's um, the action plan for next four years? Well, you, you know, that's still to be established amongst Simon Fraser and the city staff. Uh, what the action plan is going to be, 
Mm -hmm. But uh, we're very excited about the potential of uh, what we can come up with for new ideas and innovative ideas in the city. Uh, since I've been elected, that's been one of my mottos is I expect our staff to be innovative at every turn. And uh, we, we will always be at the leading edge of innovation when it comes to city work. And Simon Fraser are going to make sure that we stay there. Great. And um, the, the population of the uh, Burnaby City is growing. So uh, is there any specific plan and action plan for um, the traffic jam and also for parking slots uh, or some things like that? Well, parking is always an issue. And as we move towards a more dense city, I think it's going to become more and more of an issue. But I will say that, that as I, you know, traffic is going to look a lot different in yeah. years to come. I mean, we're going to see, you know, self-driving vehicles. And I, I truly believe that within 20 to 30 years, we will be a city with no traffic lights and that we'll be driving within a grid in our city. We won't be driving. Uh, computers will be driving for us. So the city will look very, very different. And, and we have to start really be ahead of the game on that on that plan, because what we see today will not be how the city operates in 20 to 30 years. So so um, while parking and, and those traffic jams are an issue right now, I think it'll look a lot different in the years to come. Great. And we just received a bunch of messages from the audience that um, just asking about the, um, uh, the the business, the small medium business uh, in the city, and also the economy of the city, especially um, about the startups. Is there any um, supportive um, program from the Burnaby City about the small about the startups? As we uh, work through our our um, plans for new buildings for affordable housing. Part of that uh, will include affordable rentals for startups. And uh, that's certainly, we hope to have many of those so that we can attract the small businesses to our city because we know those small businesses will become the driving businesses in the future. So certainly as part of our new building structures, it's important that we do have those startup opportunities and so that we can attract new and exciting innovation and new business to our city. Great. Thank you so much. For conclusion, do you have uh, any specific speech that uh, the audience and people that are watching us and also listening from the Torange Media? Well, I think, um, you know, we're inviting people to come to Burnaby, come live in Burnaby. We believe that we're the best city in Canada. And we believe that over the next 10 years, we will improve even more. So, uh, but the most important thing, message I want to get out there is the importance of voting and getting out to the polls on, on October 15th and elect, do your homework, elect a council that, that you want to see representing you. And I think that's a really important message because we all know people come from countries all over the world where you're not allowed to vote. So I think we should really take advantage of, um, of that opportunity to vote and, and make a difference in our community. So please get out and vote. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Mike, uh, to joining us this and dedicating your time. I uh, appreciate it. Thank you so much um, watching us and listening from the Turanj Media and, and Turanj Radio as well. Uh, and hope to see you on October 15th. And uh, please uh, keep in touch with us by 604-655-7070. Thank you so much and see you on October 15th.